that masks will probably be the last to go and probably may never even go. I think it's a it's a red letter day or a great day for for India. It's a great day for Indian science. I think it is a great day for humanity at large. It is a great day for even the low middle income countries as well with India having such a large stockpile of vaccines and supplying the uh, the 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 60% of the vaccines across the world for other things and now with this covid uh, vaccine we will be able to establish that as well. We, the two vaccines have been approved and under restricted use and emergency use authorization. And uh, they have been done with full, tremendous uh, scientific discussion by the SEC on two days on 2nd January and 1st January for eight hours. And they gave their recommendations following which the, the, the drug controller had further deliberations and has given approval. So this is wonderful news for India. This is wonderful news for, for all of us. I think this is a, a great day as far as India is concerned and the world is concerned and, uh, and also the low middle income countries are concerned. We will be able to supply vaccines to them as well. But more important to remember even we do not know a lot of things in science. And when we do not know, we say we don't know it. We do not know how long the vaccine is, is going to be effective for. We do not know how much of the population we'll have to vaccinate to break the virus transmission. But what we know is that what up till now that we have been able to control uh, the, the pandemic in this country is by the COVID appropriate behavior of the use of mask, uh, uh, maintaining proper social distancing and hand hygiene. Is, is, and that has to continue. And I am of the opinion that masks will probably be the last to go and probably may never even go.